Good morning, BUHS. Today is March 18th, and it's a purple day. There is a clothing swap, swap this Friday at the Putney Moves at 133 Main Street in Putney, Vermont from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Bring a bag full of clothes to swap or an empty one to fill. There will be accepting early drop-offs during the week before the swap. Only gently love clothing. Please, this is free to attend. This Saturday, bowl at for kids' steak at, sake at Brattleboro Bowl from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Bowl for Kids' Sake is a fundraising event that supports important work of Big Brothers Big Sisters. There is a minimum donation of $25, so come on down. Now over to sports with Liz. Hi, BUHS. Today is a great day to be a colonel. Um, so spring sports are right around the corner, so sign up. Email everyone on our big email graphic. Uh, lacrosse season right here. Uh, also March Madness, the tournament's starting. Duke is number one seeded. Um, UVM's looking for the upset. And um, what else? Uh, on, what was it, Saturday? No, Sunday at uh, 1 p.m. Uh, St. J beat Rutland um, in the Division I Boys Basketball State Championship. Uh, Jameson, 5 for 20. Uh, you can do better. Grady, you should have been there. All right, and that's all. Back to the desk. Sports camp scholarships available. Are you planning on attending a sports camp this summer? Sports camp and event scholarships applications are available. You may pick up an application near the Booster Club room at the end of the administrative hallway. Now that the weather is getting nice, go out for a hike. There are many places you could one, you could one being Mount Wantastiquit. Go get something good to eat right across the river at the Wet Zone Station. Now over to weather with Emma. Hi. So for Monday, today, it's going to be high of 40 and low of 20. For Tuesday, it's going to be high of 43 and a low of 21. And for Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 52 and a low of 33. That's it for the weather. Go to the third annual Keene Holly Fest, Saturday, April 6, 6 1 to 3.30, to celebrate the arrival of spring. It is a free, family-friendly event. And there will be dance and musical performances with food to buy. There will be a gem and mineral show this weekend in Hadley, Last on 41 Russell Street. On Saturday, it will be from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is $5 and food will be available on site. The Wyndham County Humane Society has many pets that are looking for their forever homes. One animal in particular is Callie, a two-year-old cat. Callie is medium-sized with long black hair. She is looking for a house full of love. Come down and check her out. Wheelhouse Clay Center is accepting registration for spring pottery classes. Coming up are two beginner wheel throwing classes starting March 26th and April 10th, respectively. They also offer upper level classes as well as intro to hand building class starting June 6th. Go to wheelhouseclaycenter.com slash classes for more information. Let's hear what's going on now with World News with Chris. So today for world news, we got that Trump vetoed a law passed by Senate and Congress to, de to declare the border wall a national emergency so that he can get money to build the wall. President Trump is going to do what he needs to do to get the wall built, and that's uh, how I see that. So that's all I got for you. On April 12th from 7.30 to 10 p.m., come to the Latches to see Rob Standard and three Dangerous Bluesmen in their Mud Season Blues concert. Advanced ticket prices are $20 for the general public and 
$50 for VIP seats. Funds will go to the Vermont Arts Council and Latches Arts. From March 9th to June 16th, come over to the Brattleboro Museum and Arts Center to see Glass-tastic, a series of glass sculptures based off of drawings of monsters submitted by K-6 through kids. Twenty glass artists poured work into these sculptures, so go check them out. Now over to the special with Adam and Charlie. Alright, so today for the special, a man allegedly faked his own kidnapping to get out of a Super Bowl payout. Crazy. State police say a Western New York man faked his own abduction and robbery because he was short of cash owed in a Super Bowl pool. Troopers found 60-year-old Robert Brandel of North Tonawanda, Tonawanda tied up in his pickup truck Monday in a parking lot in Newfane, 30 miles from Buffalo. So Brando told troopers uh, that two men involved in a Super Bowl squares robbed him of $16,000, drove him around for two days, and left him tied up in the back of his pickup truck. Um, so the, inv the investigators determined that he entered fake names in the pool, uh, and he was trying to take like all the winnings, but Pretty crazy. it didn't work out, so he had to fake his own robbery. But Don't fake your own kidnapping. So he was charged with fraud and false reporting and incident. He's and done. That is all we have. So back to the desk. The, desk. the Brattleboro Winter Farmers Market is happening on Saturday, March 23rd at 10 a.m. on Flat Street. So go support the sustainable agriculture by providing a viable winter season direct market outlet. Mo movies playing at the Latches in Brattleboro this week include Three Solo, Captive State, Wonder Park, and Captain Marvel. Sunday, March 24th at 4.20 to 6.20 p.m. Chill CBD flow and deep relaxation with Sarah includes a homemade raw vegan chocolate CBD macaroon made by our local vegan cafe, Super Fresh Cafe. Space is limited, so please sign up for this. It's $25. Now it's time for funny news with Hunter. Word. What's up? So today we have a very... uh compelling story of a man fighting for his life inside of a whale. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, so a 51-year-old Australian man was filming, like, little shrimp, you know, the things that the whales eat. In, yeah, that thing. Yeah. In the ocean. And um, he was just tooling along, just being chill, looking for sharks, because sharks are more dangerous than whales, when <laughs> a huge whale just opened his mouth and chomped this man's. He was in his mouth for, like, Two minutes? No. And then, yeah, and then he spit him back up. I bet it stank yeah. in there. No, dude, it probably stunk in there. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> was, was it he a probably bait, didn't brush his know? teeth. Like, if I, I think if he was eating krill, it probably would have, like, you know, if, if anyone knows about baleen whales, they kind of, like, <laughs> suck them up in their big brushed teeth. Well, uh, what? Yeah. That's kind of what they're I, like, I, you know? Personally, wait, wait, I don't I have know. No, I'm not a scientist. Um, so. History of whales. Okay. But Was it a baby or an adult? All I know is that he was inside of a whale's mouth, and he did not like it whatsoever. Well, would you like it? Well, how did he breathe? Honestly, it? Is my new question. experience. Was it big it's, enough it so that he shot, could you know breathe, I mean. like, in, like, you know? I think he, uh, well, he lived. That's good. And I don't know anybody that can hold their breath for, like, three minutes. Well, wow. yeah, but there was <laughs> that guy at one time who, like, put, held his breath underwater for, like, four minutes. No. And he, like, no, I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, we could, yeah, yeah. All right, so that is all today for funny news. Now, back to these two. That's it for today, VHS. VHS, bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>